What's going on fam? This is Raul from QBN Kennel. Today we're going to be talking about is the American Bully XL the right dog for you? Now as we all know a lot of people love these dogs because of the way they look, the confidence that they impose on their look, uh, you know the muscles, the frame, all these other things. But aside from the attraction, uh, let's talk about the pros and cons. Let's talk about temperament. Let's talk about things that are good within the breed and the things that may not be so good. So here at QBN we pretty much made a list of 10 of the things that you must know about our breed. Good, bad, or indifferent. So you can make the right choice if the American Bully XL is right for you. Number one on our list is exercise. This breed needs exercise, fam. They need at least anywhere between half hour to an hour worth of exercise on a daily basis. I don't know if you ever heard of the term, but a tired dog is usually a well-behaved dog. You have to keep in mind, they have some of them have high prey drive or they just have a high energy drive that's inert in them. This is why you see things like the PlayStation. You see like my uh, goat ramp over here. This is why you see me with the flirt pole. Uh, because they constantly need this type of exercise in order to release uh, all this energy that they carry inside. So keep that in mind. If you're, I, and when I mean about exercise, I'm not talking about like a long distance runner. This breed doesn't do well, say if you take them on a five or six mile run okay um, they can do that I'm not saying they can't but on extreme temperatures particularly with the heat they don't necessarily bode too well doing that but in short sprint like or short spurts this breed excels like any other but you got to keep in mind they need to get their exercise daily number two on our list American bullies are excellent with children regardless what you've heard out there in the news they are excellent with children my particular recommendation is get them as a pup bring them home let them grow with your children and family never let your children put you know their fingers in their eyes or abuse the dog jump on the dog or try to ride the dog like a pony okay if you do this you're exposing both your child and the dog to a dangerous situation number three on our list and it's actually a myth that's being debunked right here right now is American bullies they just don't attack for the sake of attacking uh, matter of fact it takes quite a bit uh, to get them riled up in order to want to attack. They will only attack if provoked, okay? So keep that in mind. They're not necessarily an aggressive or um, a type of dog that's just gonna attack for the sake of it. It's usually a provocation that's there. Uh, if the handler or the owner is there and they're not able to manage it correctly, it could escalate, but that could happen with any other breed. American bullies uh, can have skin conditions. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you, okay? Um, you will have to work with your dog. Each dog is different. Some of them, you could just put some uh, coconut oil on their, on their uh, fur and, and somehow you're able to condition it and you're fine. Others do take more things. Uh, there's gonna be more things that you're gonna have to take in consideration, such as diet, um, you know, also the environment that they're in. So you have to take this into consideration. They do have skin issues, particularly uh, I've noticed that that seems to heighten more in the summertime. So keep that in mind. Number five on our list is grooming. Now I know I just spoke about skin conditions, but aside from that, grooming is near minimum with them. I mean, bathing them every two weeks is just about it. I mean, I usually bathe mine with water and vinegar, you know, 50-50 mix, bathe them with that and let the air dry. It usually suits them for a lot of things. And a lot of times it keeps them from having skin conditions. So grooming is near minimum. Number six on our list is quite comical, but American bullies pass gas. I mean, all dogs pass gas, but American bullies are known to pass gas. This is what I'm trying to get at. So for example, if you got your dog, say, on, on a raw diet, and you know they just ate some chicken quarters or whatnot, you might want to have them outside when you invite family over or whatever, they're not used to it because it could pretty much clear the room. So just keep that in mind, they do pass gas. Now, number seven on this list is one of my favorites. American bullies are one of the most trainable, uh, you know, dogs out there due to their intelligence. It means these dogs pick up things rather quickly. I don't know if you noticed. Maybe I'm seeing it more and more uh, because online and whatnot. I, I'm part of the bully community, but I'm seeing more and more that police departments are turning more and more uh, to bullies. Uh, this, in my opinion, is because they're starting to surpass other breeds out there as far as intelligence. They usually pick up things very, very quickly. Uh, I could tell you if you have an American bully in your home, it's almost like having a two or three or four year old in your home 
and you know how they watch everything and they don't miss anything. And the minute you leave the room, they're out there trying to do it. Uh, American Bully has this type of intelligence. Now, this is what I get written to almost daily, okay? Uh, why are American Bullies so expensive? Well, they're not cheap, fam. They're not cheap. Um, you know, it's just a matter of, I guess, supply and demand, if you will. Um, you know, it, it takes quite a while for the female to come in heat to then whelp the pups. A lot of times, you know, breeders don't sit here and give you the soft story, but, you know, you may have 12 pups that were born, but only eight that made it. And therefore, you need to compensate. I mean, these, this particular breed eats very well and very often. And so, if you start calculating these things, as well as the amount of time and training and amount of time that you got to put forth uh, to be able to provide for them a good, uh, you know, quality of life. Number nine on this list, Nueve. You can't miss this, fam. This is American Bully XL 101, okay? You must socialize your dogs socialize your dogs what does that mean what, what do we mean by socialize your dog do you take them to a party and hand them a no none of that stuff pretty much get your dog in your vehicle take them out let them hear different noises let them let them see and meet other dogs meet other people take them to places like tractor supply home depot the beach the park the lake you know that sort of thing that's what socializing uh entails now uh, this is very recommended in this particular breed because um, they get to the point where uh, if they grow and they haven't been socialized, they're going to want to defend their family. Okay, they're, they're extremely loyal. Okay, and so they'll start seeing threats that are, aren't really there. Remember how I mentioned earlier, these dogs, they do not attack, um, you know, preemptively. Uh, there's got to be something there to provoke them. If you don't socialize them, these triggers are going to be there. And it's on you if you're buying an American Bully because from the get, uh, I'm pretty sure myself and other breeders out there are telling you these dogs need, need a lot of exercise and they need a lot of socialization. These are two things that go hand in hand with this particular breed. Ten. I'm glad you made it all the way down here. Number ten is, is it's actual fact, so you got to be prepared for it. Um, a lot of times uh, with American Bullies, whether it's for the look, whether it's for allergies or skin conditions or whatever, you're probably going to have to buy a more expensive fee. I mean, it's, it's just a matter of depending what it is that you're trying to get. So if you're trying to bulk up your bully, trying to get more muscle, uh, you may want to go with a raw diet or, you know, some sort of, uh, of mixes. If you haven't seen our videos, make sure you go to my YouTube channel, uh, QBN Kennel. Uh, you're going to see there are plenty of dietary um, recommendations for your bully um, from raw to kibble to whatever. Typically, the kibble that they that they eat is going to be is going to probably be higher um, higher in price due to better quality. Um, like I told you, it all ties in. Uh, earlier, I mentioned they do have a lot of gas. If you try to go out there and just feed them the cheapest of the cheapest and keep them on that routinely, you're going to pay for it in more than one way. So, with that being said, uh, just be prepared uh, that their their bag of food is going to be running you about. Anywhere between, I want to say, 40 or 50 bucks for a 44-pound uh, bag. That's just a rough estimate, fam. If I'm off $10, you know, don't shoot me for that. I'm just trying to give you an idea uh, so that you can make a decision if this is the breed for you. So all in all, I'm just going to throw this out there before I let y'all go. Uh, I see these dogs to be a great fit for families that have children. Uh, like I said earlier, you get them as a pup and they grow with the family and the children. Um, they're a great fit with somebody that leads an active life. With that being said, I wouldn't recommend an American Bully, say for, a, I don't know, a marathon runner or something like that. Uh, for two reasons. One, they don't do too well in the heat. And then secondly, um, their exercises should be more geared to shorter spurts rather than just long distance. Uh, long distance running will just give them a muscle breakdown. They're more built for that short spurt, more like a lion uh, if you were to look at the animal kingdom. So, the, the, you know, this is, this is all in all uh, what I see with our particular breed here with the American Bully. Um, I hope our recommendations uh, is something that could be useful for you, the information that we've been able to gather and hand over to you. Uh, I do ask that you go ahead and subscribe if you like the information we're putting out. 
make sure you leave a comment whether you like or don't like what, what it is that we're saying and then lastly make sure you hit a like hey this has been Raul from QB&K catch you on the next one